Welcome back, everyone. Before I can even get stopped, I'm gonna start into a new fight. Well, that was lively. Why are we still fighting? Ah! Robots! Woo! Bring it on, robots! Yeah, you're off your guard now. Get that great sword. Woo! Great blade. Oh, I love this. Just this battle system. This battle system is so good. What do you got? You got nothing. Apparently, I got nothing. These attacks aren't really doing that much. Get him, get him, get him! Yeah! They're still going. Let's help them out. Oh gosh, oh gosh, they're wild, they're real strong. Oh no, we got dogs here too! Ferocious predators lurk at night. You can return to where you were last rested from navigation menus. Oh, that's nice, but I don't run! Oh gosh, wow. Wow, they are everywhere. Holy cow! Be right over! All better? Thanks, Prompto. Let's get the mech out of here. Ignis! Oh wow, he's really dead. Hey, don't overdo it! Oh, so much damage! Get that dragon just going! Yeah! Oh, we are so dead. Oh gosh, I need to save him. I need to save the guys. How's it going? I need to save him. Oh. My bad. Holy cow, these guys are really strong at night. Oh, I am dead. I am so dead. Oh, Prompto is down. I can't block. I can't do anything. Okay, we're back. Not my finest hour. I'm sure you never forget. Come on! Holy cow, I cannot believe these enemies are on screen right now. Oh, are we done? We're dead. We gotta run away, guys. We gotta run away. Oh, these guys are kicking my butt. Did we successfully run away? Holy cow. Everyone is so dead. I don't know what this is over here. Over here. Yeah. It's break time. Rest and tally XP and level up. Hot luck stew? Yeah, let's Sleeping rest. Sleeping out under the stars tonight. Oh. Well, welcome back, everyone. Did you like that? Oh, wow. 
fresh and immune. Now I'm hungry. Uh, 4,900. Yeah, we're gonna level up. Next. How much to level up did I get? Two, three, four, five. Well, I went from six to 12. Holy cow. <laughs> All right. So that's a different. Increases attack and defense by 50%. Experience gained by 10. Holy cow. Negate status ailments. Okay, so... Well... What's going on? It takes two. Practice... Linking up with, uh... Galadio? Gladio? Split up the group and join allies, uh, and join your ally on a tour. The main quest will not proceed when the tour is underway. Uh, sure, why not? Oh. Well, that, yeah. So, uh, what happened right there was I basically got stuck... And, uh, as soon as I saved, or not saved, but stopped, I un unpaused and, uh, got attacked. So I figured it was a big fight. It was just one guy, and then it turned into three guys, and it turned into 83 guys. So, yeah. Um, evidently, you're supposed to come here first and level up so you can actually do some damage, maybe. Anywho, let's see what this tour thing is. It said visit a gas right. station. Here we go. So, where is said gas station? Uh... All the way up there? North? Set destination. That's the garage. Yeah, set that destination. That's the one we want to go to. Where is my waypoint? All the way back there. Well, let's get going. He runs like a girl. <laughs> All right. So, how you guys doing? A little bit more Final Fantasy 15. This game is really fun. I'm gonna enjoy it when it's actually out. Oh, he's so tired. He's so tired. What is this? This is a sign. Ugh. Feeling your age? You'll know how it feels in five years. <laughs> I like that. So, look at those big, like, monster-looking guys. I wonder if we could fight them. Oh boy! I gotta say, this, this, well, what's attacking us? Heads up! You're not so fun with you're not in the freaking nighttime, are you? Yeah, bring it on! These attacks feel really good. I, I can only hope Final Fantasy uh, 7 Remake is like this. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and talk a little bit about that too, because, uh, you know, call it cliche, call it whatever you want. Final Fantasy 7 is my favorite Final Fantasy. I know a lot of people don't like Cloud. Oh, he's just brooding guy. Yeah, whatever. I... I... Cloud is my favorite Final Fantasy character. Cloud is my favorite... I mean, Final Fantasy 7 is, if not my favorite video game ever. I love Final Fantasy 7. When I was a wee little Kyle, and we had just bought a PlayStation 2, 
me and my brother convinced my mom to buy a uh, my mom and dad to buy a PlayStation 2 for the DVD player. Because believe it or not, DVDs were very players were really expensive. But why don't we just buy a PlayStation 2 so that we can have the DVD player and I guess we could play some games with it too. <laughs> I think that was every kid's ploy to buy a PlayStation 2 to their parents. But yeah, what ended up happening was we got the PlayStation 2 and I was a Nintendo kid. I never had a PlayStation. I never had a uh, anything else other than uh, Nintendo stuff. It's not that, you know, no fanboy or anything. It's just my family got a, a Nintendo 64 for me, and I loved it. But uh, I, I always saw this video game that was on the, on the shelves, and it had this white background with a guy on it. And this guy had a humongous sword. And I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. And I always wondered what it was. It's this guy with a humongous sword. And I was like, that's weird. So, lo and behold, one Christmas, I uh, was graced with a gift that had three different things in it. And this will tell you the times that I, I was in. I had asked for Final Fantasy VII, and not only did I get Final Fantasy VII, I got two soundtracks. Now these were very important to me, don't you laugh at them. The soundtracks were the Tarzan full album, as in the, the Disney Tarzan's album. So basically Phil Collins, the Tarzan. <laughs> and then uh, Sonic Adventure ba er, Battle 2, the soundtrack. And I don't care what anybody says, that soundtrack still holds up today, I have it on my phone. Just because Live and Learn is one of the best songs. Yeah, I know. Showing who I am. Anywho. <laughs> Long story short, this, get, this also had Final Fantasy VII in it. And I was like, yeah! Yeah, now I can play this game! And it was a game that involved... Like, I think X was out also. Like, that's how long ago it was. Final Fantasy X was out. And this game had low graphics a very untranslated story that was slightly buggy and characters that were just polygons that had actual textures over them. You could tell it. Sorry, had got held up a little bit. The dog was barking and everything. But anywho, yeah, there was this game with low poly, low texture, and you'd get into a fight and there was this guitar that was jamming in it and just a character that had a humongous butcher knife that he was basically using and you know everyone's trying to save the world everyone's trying to do all sorts of stuff what does he do he shrugs I don't care not interested Ugh. and they turned Ugh. into this humongous game with just Stay huge sharp. stuff awesome looking characters and like just everybody had something in it all of the characters were good. All the characters had... Well, mm, I, I'll say, I say all of them. And then I think of Kate Sith. Eh. What's, what's attacking? What's attacking? You! Ha! -ha! But yes, it turned into a, a game that, like, just... I was defined by. I mean... It turned into a franchise, it turned into all sorts of stuff. And it's a game that, like, you know, everybody talks about, and they, they're like, Oh, Final Fantasy VII, it's over, it, just everybody, just, it's, what's the word, uh, overrated. And I'm not gonna lie, the game has faults, but it's, it's a game of the times, and it was a game that defined a nation, and they're not, a nation, wow, I am making, playing this up really, really a lot. Long story short, when you think of Final Fantasy, when anyone says Final Fantasy, it's kind of like saying, well, is that that character with the guy that's got the big sword on it? Yes. People don't really think of, you know, <coughs> gun blades. I hate gun blades. Gosh, all these guys are around everywhere. Oh, man. These attacks are really cool. But, you know, in the end, Final Fantasy VII is the one that people remember. 
And it's it's my game, and I like it. I'll defend it to this day. I don't care what anybody says. Now that being said, the, the, there's a lot of you know ridicule over the whole Final Fantasy VII remake being cut into parts and being all sorts of like talk about the DLC and they're changing the story and stuff. I don't care. In the end, I'm gonna end up buying it. Regardless of what anybody says, and regardless of what people want to do with it, odds are, I'm just going to spend all my money on it. But I'm going to enjoy it too. Get him! Yeah! Get him! Oh, it's so good! So yeah. Final Fantasy VII. I love that game. Now the thing is, that game also gave me my love of great swords. Great swords are amazing. Totally impractical. Never should be used ever. But I'm gonna do it. And the fact that this character just pulls great swords out of nowhere. I like all weapons. And the fact that this guy has all the weapons really speaks. <laughs> Man, I'm dying so much. Stop attacking that one. Attack the stupid robots that are killing us. Oh man, I keep getting hit so bad. So it looks like uh, when you get hit to zero percent, you go into this like down state. Nice timing, Gladio. After you're in the down state, you have to hurry up and get revived by your partner so that you don't lose more HP. Which is cool. I kind of like that. Why am I constantly jump? Oh, because I'm still targeting those guys. Let's do a jump again. We're back! Man! Holy cow! These things are like... Apparently he does a suicide thing where he just pulls these things out and kills me. Hey Gladius, you wanna help me out? Gladiolus? Glad Gladius? Come on, help me out! Nice timing, Gladio! Now you guys. Yeah, so when I'm in that, like, prone state... Man, I can't... If you're in a combo, you cannot do that counter-attack. See? I can't do it again. I was, I was trying to get it so hard. There it is! Man! It looks really good! But yeah, if you're in that prone state and you get hit, it shaves off your max HP for when you try to get back in and it takes away your health, so you don't want that. Stab in the butt. Whew! Man, these fights are long and fun. Let's see if we can get back up there. Hungry as hell. Uh. Huh. Knox, over here. Yeah. What does he want over there? Another sign? Well, what's the sign for? Uh. Check. Uh, yeah. We've just been getting attacked by him all over. Slate all garlands in the all of them later. Oh boy, let's, let's attack it. Let's attack it. Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? There they are. Let's clean them up. Ah, the parry. Hands now! 
Now, apparently you can uh, change the combos of this and, like, switch it out to where uh, you use different weapons for it. I'm trying to remember what it is. No? I can jump! Yeah! Okay! Bring it on, robots. Think you got anything? <laughs> I need to jump higher. Time for a dragoon jump. Oh, dragoons are so cool. Get out of here. Woo! Give me your help. We're done here. We're not done. They're still alive. Gotcha. See? Nothing. There's nothing. Alright. You know what? I think that's it for this episode, guys. We will see what's at the end of that marker in the next episode. Until then, always go onward.